Hey, this is Senator Judson Hill bringing you an update from the Georgia State Senate. With only two days left in the 2014 session, the fate of hundreds of bills will be decided by the legislature before midnight, Thursday, March 20th. Several bills have passed through both the Senate and the House, and they're now waiting on the governor's desk for his signature. The Senate was busy last week and passed a number of bills that will improve the lives of Georgians. Several bills of note include House Bill 658, which is a full repeal of Georgia's estate, or the death tax. And from now on in Georgia, the property and wealth that you amass during your lifetime will be saved from taxation by your state government. The Georgia General Assembly continues its stance to keep taxes as low as possible in this great state. Then there's House Bill 153, which incorporates my Senate Bill 99. It provides counties the option to propose a fractional SPLOS in a local referendum in order to raise money for capital improvement projects. Another important measure that's now on the governor's desk is House Bill 702. Georgia has a proud founding tradition that we can trace back to the very founding documents of our country. House Bill 702 allows a special monument to be built to commemorate and to memorialize our noble history with the preamble of the Georgia Constitution, a selection from the Declaration of Independence, and the Ten Commandments. Stay tuned for future updates and a wrap-up of the 2014 session. Thank you.